All right, day two. Today's gonna consist of a lot of measuring, a lot of weighing. Uh, gonna make my knocks, uh, custom build my knocks. What I'm doing is putting inserts. Uh, we shoot these nocturnals in our hunting area, arrows. So what I'm doing, I'm taking these regular knocks, which are only six to eight grains, and I'm cutting eighth inch welding rods and then I'm gluing them on the inside of my knock. That way this knock, my practice knocks, and my hunting knocks are gonna weigh the same. So once we get all that done, they're all gonna be 24 grains when I get complete. I've got brass inserts that are 100 grains. We gotta get those all weighed out and make sure that they're all weighing the same. Uh, if they're not weighing the same, we're going to match them up with the arrows because I know my arrows are going to be just a little bit out. So my heavier inserts are going to be in my lighter arrows. That way we can try to match up all the arrows uh, within that four grains like I mentioned yesterday. So I'll show you kind of the steps that I'm taking and hopefully, I don't know, hopefully y'all can learn something or maybe I'll learn something. All right, so we got all the knocks, the practice knocks weighed. Got everything, the inserts, all that glued in. Got them down here, all right in here. My next step, I'm gonna weigh all these inserts and I'm gonna put them in, in order from left to right, from lightest to heaviest. The, only, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take every one of my arrows, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to do the opposite actually except on the actual inserts. They're gonna be from left to right, from heaviest to lightest. That way the heavy insert will go with the lightest arrow all the way down to the opposite end. That way we can try to keep them all about the same weight. Uh, same exact thing is gonna happen with the, the knocks. Uh, just gonna kind of play around, try to keep everything within four grains. Twelve arrows within four grains is the is the goal. So I'll show you what I'm doing next. All right, this next step is going to be pretty time consuming. Uh, I've got my mineral spirits out here, wherever it is. I've got Q-tips and I've got a rag. So the object here, I'm going to dip my arrow down into the mineral spirits. I'm going to take my Q-tip and I'm going to clean it out. Okay, and then I'm going to do it again, dip my arrow, take my Q-tip, clean it out. What you're trying to do is get all the carbon out from the inside of the arrow, and then you take your brass insert, which is what I'm using, and I'm after it's air dried, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue it in. Now I'm gonna take my time here, that way everything's gonna go in smooth. Uh, I'm not gonna get confused on all my numbers, because like I said, I'm trying to match everything up uh, and keep everything within that four grains. Hopefully, if it works out, maybe I can get it within two grains, but we'll see.
Well, if y'all noticed, I fletched three arrows with four veins, and I fletched three arrows with three veins. I'm gonna shoot three with the four vein and three with the three vein. Uh, see how they fly, see how they group, and see how they sound. Uh, I don't want real loud arrow as well. So I, I just kind of quickly showed y'all how I fletch them. I didn't go into much detail. Uh, I guess if you do want some more detail into it, I can do another video. Just you know, put in the comments. Let me know what you want. Anyways, it's a late night. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock tomorrow. If I get a chance, we will be shooting some arrows downrange and videoing how they fly. See you tomorrow.